Today in this video we are going to learn wiring of the contactor. In one of my last video I told you how by using a push button according to a logic you can do the wiring. And by continuing same wiring today we will understand wiring of this contactor. Before wiring of the contactor you must know about the contactor. Like here you can see I have a contactor. If you are going to make electrical circuit of this contactor then you have to make this type of electrical circuit. There are mainly three things in contactor. First is coil of contactor. Coil terminals of contactor are A1 and A2. As you can see here is A1 terminal and here is A2 terminal. At A1 terminal you have to connect phase supply and at A2 terminal you have to connect neutral power supply. After this in this contactor you will find power terminals. As you can see here is L1, L2, L3, three terminals are here and here T1, T2, T3, these three terminals. So in total you will find six power terminals for power wiring. Now in this contactor only you can see NONC contact is given. These NONC contact are used in controlling. It means suppose you have a contactor and you turned on the contactor. After turning on, if you want an indication which confirms contactor is on, then in this condition these NONC contacts are required. In which condition you need to use NO and in which condition you need to use NC, you will understand this later. For this contactor, here I made different symbols. Like for NO contact, this is a type of symbol or even you will find this type of symbol also. So whenever you are going for wiring of contactor, then first you have to make circuit diagram on any paper. And according to that circuit diagram only, you have to do the wiring. Now when you are going to draw on paper, you are not going to draw the whole contactor. There you have to draw circuit diagram. Like for coil of contactor, this type of symbol is used. Now NO contact of same contactor, that is 13 and 14 number terminals, symbol for this NO contact is made in this way. Or you will find this type also. After this for NC contact, we draw NC contact in this way or in this way. You have to remember these symbols. These symbols are used in almost every circuit diagram. Okay, now let's move forward. In the last class, I told you in the wiring that this push button here, through this push button, we turn on and off the contactor. Now here I didn't told you if NO push button is connected, what will happen in contactor? When NC push button is connected, what will happen in contactor? To explain this, first of all, through NO push button, I am connecting this contactor. For this connection, I made a symbol here. At A2 terminal of this contactor, directly neutral power supply is connected. You can see here, at A2 terminal, neutral power supply is connected. Now at A1 terminal of this contactor, phase supply is coming, in between NO push button is connected. By using NO push button, this phase supply here, this phase supply cannot reach to this contactor, because in between, circuit is in open condition. It means if you turn on the power supply, then it will flow till this point only. It cannot flow forward from here. But when you press this push button, then power supply will continuously flow till the contactor and contactor is already getting neutral power supply, so your contactor will turn on. Now inside this push button, there is a spring, so that when we release push button, it will again goes to NO contact. If NO push button, then it goes to NO. If NC push button, then it goes to NC. Here we used NO push button, so after pressing, it completed the circuit. If I release this now, then it will again break this circuit. And when circuit breaks, this contactor will be turned off. After contactor got on or off, in this contactor here, some changes occurs. What kind of changes occurs, let's understand. When we provide power supply to coil of contactor, then power terminal of contactor get connected. In normal condition, when contactor remain off, then in this condition, power supply connected to L1 terminal will not go to T1 terminal. Similarly, power supply connected to L2 terminal will not go to T2 terminal and power supply connected to L3 terminal will not go to T3 terminal. This means power supply of this point will not go to this point until contactor is turned on. When you give power supply to contactor, then power supply at these points will start going to these points. It means contactor is turned on. Besides, NONC contact of contactor, this contact also changes. Above the contactor, NO is written here. It means when contactor is in off condition, then power supply of this point won't come to this point. Power supply which is connected at 13 number terminal will come to 14 number terminal 
when contactor is turned on. After this, here 21 and 22 number terminal. These terminals are of NC contact. Power supply of NC contact will always flow forward. It means even when contactor is in off condition, power supply at this point will still flow from here. But when your contactor turns on, this NC contact will open. I mean this circuit will break and due to break in circuit, power supply connected at this point will not reach to this point. So you understood the working of contactor also. And what happened when NO push button is used here, you understood this also. After this, here NC push button is connected with contactor. What happened when this push button is connected? Let's understand. So here I connected NC push button in series with contactor. In this condition, what will happen is, if you do not press this push button, NC push button let the power supply to always flow. So in this condition, contactor remain on. But when you press this push button, circuit will break. And due to break in circuit, your contactor turns off. Till now I am pressing this push button, so this contactor is in off condition. On releasing this, contactor will again turn on. Because power supply from here is now going to this contactor. Friends, if you want to turn on this contactor from two places, I mean one push button is this one. By pressing this, we can turn on this contactor. Apart from this, you have one more push button. By using this, you want to turn on the contactor. In this condition, how to do the wiring of push button, let's understand. If you want to turn on contactor from different places, then what you have to do with this first push button in parallel to this, I mean from upper terminal, provide input power supply to this push button. With output terminal of push button, connect a wire with output terminal of first push button. Overall in parallel to this push button, connect another push button. By doing this connection, phase supply from here will be at this as well as this point. Now among these two push button, press any one push button, power supply will go to this contactor and this contactor will be turned on. Now if you have one more push button, then you have to connect in this way only, that is in parallel to push button. You can see here. Now you can notice one thing is, after pressing this push button, this contactor will turn on and on releasing this, contactor will turn off. If you want that just by pressing push button once, contactor will remain on, then you have to make holding circuit. For making holding circuit, the contactor you have Ano contact of contactor that is 13 and 14 number terminals, you have to use this Ano contact. I made the symbol of Ano contact here. Now this Ano contact here, we have to connect this Ano contact also in parallel with the push button. Take one wire from here and provide input power supply to this and from output connect output power supply with output terminal of push button. Now why this Ano contact is connected in parallel, listen. Normally this NO contact won't let power supply to flow forward. But when you press push button, power supply will go to coil of contactor and contactor will turn on. Like I told you, when power supply goes to coil of contactor, contact inside will change. Power terminal contact will change and NONC contact also changes. We used NO contact here, so NO contact will connect here and power supply will start going to this point. Power supply of here will flow from here and directly go to coil of contactor so that the coil of contactor will get energized and this contactor will remain on. Now if you want to turn off this contactor then you have to use stop push button. To connect stop push button this coil of contactor in series with this contactor you have to connect stop push button. That is connect this stop push button in series with phase supply. Like here you can see phase supply is coming to this stop push button. Now from here it goes to start push button and from here power supply will go to coil of contactor. Now to turn off same contactor by using one more stop push button then in series with this stop push button you have to connect this one. That is power supply must go through this push button only so that when you press it power supply will break and contactor get turned off. It means you can say that all these stop push buttons must be connected in series and all these start push buttons must be connected in parallel. Now with this contactor, if you want to connect indication lamp, then how you are going to do it, let's understand this also. So here I have two indication lamps. Red indication lamp will be used when contactor is turned on and green indication will be used when contactor is turned off. To do the connections of these indication lamps, we use NONC contact of contactor. 
For on indication, you have to use NO contact and for off indication, you have to use NC contact. If you want to do connections of these indication lamp, then what you will do, take the phase supply and going through NC contact, provide phase supply to indication lamp. Now this indication lamp needs neutral power supply also. So with other terminal of indication lamp, connect neutral power supply. Similarly to on indication lamp, power supply must go through NO contact. So connect the phase supply with NO contact and from output terminal of NO contact provide phase supply to indication lamp. Now to this indication lamp also provide neutral power supply from here. So connections of this indication lamp is also completed. When your contactor turns on then this indication lamp will glow and when contactor turns off then in this condition this indication lamp will glow. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.